Hello everyone, I'm Jason from Zykit.com. I design models for 3D printing, and today I wanted to share with you our newest 3D printable project, The Librarian's Enchanted Tome 2 Dark Times. I thought that I could show you how to assemble one of these boxes. They're relatively simple, they print fairly quickly, and they don't take a ton of filament. Less than half a roll for most of the tomes, including the trays. So if you're looking for a fun 3D printing project, then stay tuned and you can see how these tomes go together. We've also got our first project to include three MF files. Now these files let the model be considered separate pieces, which makes it easier for color 3D printing. So if you're interested in any of that, then stay tuned and we'll build one of these tomes together. The main tome body is made up of two covers, an inner and outer spine, and the pages. You can customize your tomes with different emblems and different trays. You will also need some super glue and some 6mm by 1.5mm disc magnets. I'll put a link down in the description to the ones I like to use. The first thing I like to do when assembling a tome is to install all the magnets in the various pieces. I use a hard object like a flathead screwdriver to help seat some of the magnets. It helps to keep the corresponding piece nearby to make sure you align the magnetic poles properly. Continue adding magnets to the tone pieces and to the back of the emblems. Once all the magnets are installed, you can click the covers onto the inner spine, slide the magnetic outer spine on top, and glue the inner pages to the back cover of the tome. Add some trays of your choice. The Librarian's Enchanted Tomes 2 are also compatible with the trays from the first Librarian's project. Enjoy that satisfying snap as you click your favorite emblems into place. So there you have it, a completely 3D printed tome. This is our owlbear design, this is our goblin design. We've got several more on the project page right now. I'll put a link in the description if you're interested in picking up the files so you can make these for yourself. If you like this kind of content, please uh, give this video a like, leave a comment down below, tell me what kind of stuff you like to 3D print, and I'll catch you next time.